Windmill is an open source platform to build scripts, workflows, and UIs and run them at enterprise scale. Let's create a script. I'm going to choose TypeScript among TypeScript, Python, Bash, Go, and other query languages such as Postgres, MySQL, BigQuery, and Snowflake. I can see here that the parameters on the left are automatically parsed on the uh, panel on the right. This panel helps me preview and iterate on my scripts. I'm going to add one console log and see that I can iterate very easily on this script. You can also do more complex types such are as files uh, in, on the same principle. You also see that you can get auto-completion and a smart assistant using Windmill. You could also import any dependency from NPM. The same is true for Python where you could import any dependency from PyPy or your private registry. I'm now gonna deploy the script and now I can run it, see the results, the logs, see the metadata about the script and the arguments. If I were to look at all the runs, I can see the entire history of this script, but also filter by any script and their status. And now if I were to decide to schedule the script, it would be very easy. You have the cron expression, some error handlers if necessary that can trigger some Slack notification and see all the past executions <laughs> in a single interface. Scripts are nice, but flows are more powerful. In flows, you can sequence many uh, kind of scripts, either that you wrote yourself, that are pre-made in our hub, or that you can generate from AI. Let's take an example of a more complex flow. For instance, this is a data ingestion pipeline that will uh, take values out of Google Sheets, uh, PostgreSQL query, do some data extraction, and then we'll aggregate them. I can run this and have the same uh, live feedback, or I can edit it and add a step. For instance, I will ask AI to only uh, extract the last two elements in Python, and I can see AI doing it live for me. And now I can test my flow again and see that it works perfectly. I will deploy its in instance. I can now decide to create an interface from this, either from a current flow or do it from scratch, where every element can be is dynamic or can be associated with a script, maybe adding button uh, or do more complex interface. Thank you for your time.